Hello my creatives and welcome to another video. Today I want to do a simple project. It has been a week since I've been in my craft room due to the good and the bad. Uh, so today I just wanted to start out with something simple and easy uh, with book pages and scraps. And uh, I thought I would chat a little bit, you know, about life, the good and the bad. Uh, so today we are going to make some collaged envelopes from book pages and it doesn't matter what book page I have all uh, different sizes here I have this bigger one some smaller ones this one I also have a very small one from a Jane Austen pocket book just some uh, regular book pages they also don't have to be sturdy because we're going to collage on them the only thing you need is glue <laughs> Uh, so I think either a glue stick or just some other regular glue scraps and optional a sewing machine. Um, so I'm going to sew at the end, but you don't need a sewing machine. So first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to fold the bases of our envelopes. And um, I will show you first, we're going to fold all of them, but I'm going to show you first with this bigger uh, page. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine about nine and a half and one two three four five six and six and a quarter something like that uh, it doesn't really matter you can do all sizes so what you're going to do is first you're going to fold your flap and i like to have my flap about this size so this is the flap of my envelope and then you're going to fold in the bottom part make sure that you leave uh, some space here in between your folds so you can easily put something in and take something out again and then fold it and then this is the base of your envelope uh, I want to cut the corners but I'm going to do that after I collage I think or maybe this is easier to do now yeah let's do it now uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold everything open again and I'm going to line up these corners with each other so they are exactly the same so just line up here and don't fold it just keep it like this Take a pair of scissors and snip off the corner that you want. And now you know that both of them are the same size. So if you fold everything in again, this is your envelope and this is the base. So this is what we're going to do with all of them. So I will show you again with another book page. The principle is every time uh, the same. So I want to have this on the inside showing so we're going to collage on the outside and this is what you're going to see on the inside i chose book pages for this because then you don't have to line the inside but you can do this with any paper you want so first you're going to determine how big you want your flap to be and i usually do about one and a half inch maybe two inches um that's what i like uh, you can do whatever you want Fold in the bottom, making sure that you leave about, I guess, half an inch or so of a gap between your other folding line. So you can easily put everything in and out. And then this is your envelope. So you can see that this is a lot smaller and that makes this uh, for such a nice simple project. Because you're only doing um, two folds and snipping some corners and then you get all different sizes of... Um, envelopes so cutting off these corners and now I have this envelope ready I'm going to do another one uh, this is also another size so I don't know how many of these we're going to uh, to be decorating but um, I will just maybe I want to have this a little bit smaller maybe here um, I just want to have some ready. I, I grabbed some scraps from my scrap box and I also uh, took scraps from my Morse and Bloom digital kit that you can get on my 
Kofi, which is linked down below, because I thought this small one would be nice in my Morris and Bloom journal. And um, the other ones, I don't know, I will use for whatever I feel like I want to use them. So I'm going to finish up folding all the bases and uh, then I will be back. I folded all of my bases and the next thing we are going to do is collage on them. So let's take the first envelope. I have decided that I want to make this small one into a Morris and Bloom um, themed envelope. So all you need for this is your ruler and your glue stick and then um, some gluing paper is also nice. And then uh, we are ready to go. So I have my Morrison Bloom scraps here and my gluing paper. And now we are going to add scraps on everything. It doesn't really matter how, <laughs> just how you think it looks nice. And then uh, I will just chat with you a little bit about uh, life. I think I will also grab some um, neutral scraps which I have on this side uh, that are just from my scrap box and then we just go. I'm not going to ink right now. If I want to ink I'll do this later on. Also why did we do the folding already? So you know when gluing stuff on that you glue over a um, fold and uh, that way you can make sure that everything is pretty nice, nicely stuck down and to reinforce reinforce your folds. So let's go. Yes, so it has been a week since I've been in my craft room and uh, like I said it was the good and the bad. So I will start with uh, the good. Last week I um, went to a music festival in my hometown and it was amazing. I was a little bit anxious uh, because well you know I have this depression thing and um, I am so tired all the time so I was like I was a bit scared that it might be overwhelming for me uh, but in the end it was not. We also went a little bit later to the festival and um, yeah I, I had the time of my life. I was so happy we went with a great group of people a combination of friends, colleagues, work friends, you know, <laughs> everyone. And uh, it was really, really nice. So I had a lot of fun. Um, great music. You know, when there's great company, everything is great. Uh, so that was fantastic. And then, uh, of course, I took into consideration that I would go to this festival with, you know, balancing my um, regular schedule, right? So uh, the Friday, um, I was completely broken. Uh, <laughs> I was done. Uh, uh, so I spent almost the whole day in bed. And I did go in the evening for a walk for an hour, which was great. And um, we, we, we just enjoyed each other's company. We talked. And uh, that, was, uh, that was great because I was uh, free from school on Fridays. Then uh, we had a, before I got this depression thing, we um, scheduled some family things. So um, we, um, I'm not sure where I want to place this, I guess here. Uh, we scheduled to go to dinner with the family, go out for eat in a restaurant, you know, and do cards. I don't know, do you say that the same in English? Yeah, I guess, because Mario Kart is cards, so. Um, we did that, it was really, really fun. Um, it was the first time since months or years that I um, stepped into a cart. Uh, I had a lot of fun, I love doing it. Uh, it is pretty intense though, uh, because uh, you really have to hang in there <laughs> when you go... Uh, uh, go through corners and stuff so it's 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 really intense but i had a lot of fun i loved it 
And then we went out for dinner with the whole family. And, you know, I just enjoyed myself. But uh, two social events in a very short amount of time. Um, it was a little bit, you know, tricky. So I decided that I would take Sunday and Monday for me to recharge for the new week. Because, of course, I also had to go to school again. Well, that plan didn't really go because uh, on Sunday, uh, Uts went to his grandfather. I stayed home uh, uh, because, well, I was already... It was, it was too much for me. I needed <laughs> some time to um, not go anywhere. Which was fine, which was, which was totally fine with that. Um, we don't always have to go everywhere to get a ride, so. Uh, but then um, I was still in bed <laughs> and he came home with his sister and uh, they called the doctor because Uts was in a lot of pain. And I was like, what? Um, so we had to go to see the, um, we had to go to see the doctor um, in the afternoon uh, and it turns out that Oots has a minor infection well minor bladder infection for men is a pretty you know he heavy thing so um, it turned out to be to have a to have an infection so well that was not nice for him and he's in a lot of pain um, so that was on Sunday, and then on Monday, we had to go to his military doctor, because he's in the military. But he couldn't drive the car yet, because he was in too much pain to drive. So I also had to go there. Now, of course, I do this with a lot of love. I go with him everywhere, um, because he needs me. But it was a bit too much. So on Tuesday, I was completely... I was completely broken. I couldn't. I just couldn't. So I stayed home from school. And with all of this, I planned on doing some crafting on Sunday. Which didn't go. Because I, of course, went with Oots to the doctors. And then I was completely drained. And um, I was planning to do some crafting on Monday. Which also didn't happen. Because I was just too tired <laughs> of everything. Um, yeah, so now here I am again, um, just in my craft room, feeling a bit rusty, also still tired, um, but I'm here and I thought this was a great little, I don't feel this here, no, this, I thought this was a great little project to do with you together, I love this one, yes. To just do some collaged envelopes to, you know, warm up a little bit. Because I still have um, a lot of things that I want to share with you and want to craft uh, together with you. So, yeah, it has been a week since I was in my craft room, um, which um, was not planned. And I also... I'm not very thrilled about that it took a week to come back because I really need this time to recharge for myself because this gives me energy and most other things just take energy from me. But, oh well, such is life. These things happen, right? So I'm very happy to be here with you and I hope you enjoy... <laughs> This video that I'm probably... Oh my god, I feel so stupid sometimes when I'm so tired. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this. Because I really just wanted to have some time with you. And create. <laughs> and chat. And then... Um, you know, maybe do the bigger projects. Because I still have so many ideas in line. Also, I'm not going to fold this over. Because you're going to see the inside. So I'm going to snip off this corner this is why you also could have waited with snipping off the corners but um i don't know i liked 
to have this step already done. And maybe I'm go even going to leave this corner as is because, well, why not? It's book page and that's why I chose to use book page, by the way. So you could leave things and you didn't have to cover everything up if you didn't want to. So I think I'm going to add a strip of this here. Yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, hang out with you. Because I'm so looking forward to the, do the projects to think a little bit more. But if people keep interrupting my crafty time with life, <laughs> then I can't do the things that I really want to do. Um, but of course, which is okay, because I love Woods. And um, he is uh, doing a better, but it's a pretty nasty infection. So he... Um, as a cure of antibiotics for 10 days and he is on the third day right now so he's not feeling that great yet but he is feeling uh, a bit better so that's good where was my fault i can refold it however i want by the way oh you don't see what i'm doing i'm sorry so I'm refolding it to see where I, if I want to add anything else or not. Preferably you do the refolding when everything is dry, but you know me, I don't. So I think that this is pretty good. Now this is the envelope, so if you open it up, I'm thinking about making a notch here. Um, let's see, I don't know, have I, do I have my circle punch here? No, I grab my two inch circle punch. Also, preferably you wait for this to dry, but I don't. Just going to punch it out. A little notch. Now, this is your envelope. Um, and what you are going to do next, if you are not going to sew, because I'm going to sew, is open this up, ink every, everywhere if you want. If you don't want to ink, then don't. Uh, you open this up, you put glue on these two sides and you fold it back in and then that is your envelope. Now I want to use my sewing machine because it also has been a while since I have sewn and I'm going to sew my envelope. So I am going to start somewhere here and I'm going to sew all around here and then back to the top. That way you have sewing on the flap and this is sewn shut. I also will ink around this with Grand Espresso, but not um, in this, you don't have to see that. So this is where I'm going to leave it off. Of course, I will share the end result with you. So don't worry about that. But that is what you're going to do. And then you have beautiful envelopes. Uh, that you can use for any project. Now I will let this dry because it's important for my sewing machine that it is dry. Let's do the next. Yeah, so um, he is uh, feeling a little bit better, but he is in pain, of course, and uh, feverish. So yeah, uh, hopefully things will get better soon for him. So yeah, there was... Uh, <laughs> Quite, you know, a thing. And then I had the realization that I have to... My deadline is in three and a half weeks now for school. And I have my exam, the last one, in four weeks. I am a, a little bit stressing out <laughs> about that. Um, because... I uh, I always feel, I don't know why, but I feel behind on everything. Now, I've heard, learned today from my other friend in school. I do this last project together with a friend of mine, and she's amazing. Um, and she's also, like me, uh, a worker, but also an overthinker and sometimes an overachiever. So we feel like we are underperforming, and then we still have an A-, minus, right? So... If I have to compare it with that. Um, yeah, so my other friend told me, girl, nobody in the class started their research. So don't worry about it. You will be fine. And I'm like, yeah, probably will be. But it's because I'm so tired and I, my energy balance is so 
weirdly divided, right? I can't, I can't, I feel so tired all the time. So I don't feel like I can do a very big home stretch and, you know, perform as I usually do. And that really, really bothers me. But on the other hand, I will probably be fine. And I also do very well with deadlines, to be honest. So, but yeah, I had a little bit of a shock that the <laughs> last uh, deadline is in uh, a couple of weeks. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think of that. So we will see, but we will be fine. I will probably be fine. I will always be fine, but I do feel a little bit of stress. And on the other side, I don't know. I'm still struggling, you know, with this um, perfection, perfectionism thing. Um, because I felt that last period I really underperformed. I was like, well, this, this is going to be, be barely a six, right, out of ten. And then I got a seven and a half. So I was like, mm, okay, so apparently this is still also good enough. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know. I will figure it out. I will get there. But um, I'm, I'm not on top of things. I also constantly forget what I still have to do. Because my brain is just so tired all the time. And I feel I can only live in the moment. I think that's also a coping strategy. To just uh, think about one or two days and not more. Because if I think about more days... Or more things that I have to do. I I think I'm going to go mad. I think I will just stress out too much. And shut down. Uh, so I think it's also a little bit of a coping strategy. To not think past one or two days. And that is also why I so need this craft room time. Because when I'm in here. I feel... I can uh, let go a little and just relax and recharge for the, well, next big thing that I have to do. How do I want this? I think I s don't, don't think and don't look at the back. Just stick it down, Kira. Yeah, so uh, that's up with school. So if I, and it's also, I really, really want to pass this last thing because then I have my proper dose and I pass this whole year. Um, I'm still already through to the next year. I already met that, um, how do you say that? Qualification. I already have the points. So I don't have to be afraid that I won't make it through the next year, but I would love it to you know, get everything in one go and move forward. So hopefully I will make it. I probably will, but I'm also still <laughs> so extremely tired. About the tiredness, I went to my doctors again a few weeks back already. So this is not new to me, uh, but I do have a vitamin D deficiency. So uh, I am on supplements right now for that. Uh, I don't really feel like it is already doing much. So I don't know. I have an appointment with my doctor again. I believe June 2nd, June 1st. Uh, I have to check my calendar. It's on my calendar. So uh, soon. Uh, so I will talk with him about that. But uh, mentally, I am doing a lot better. I am feeling... I think I'm going to leave it like this. I am feeling a lot better. So I'm... Uh, oh, why are you coming loose? Okay. So that is good. I am um, feeling less depressed. Feeling less, you know... Um, I enjoy things again. I am also feeling sometimes quite happy. 
again. Not a lot of times, but most of the times I'm just okay and sometimes I feel happy again. So that is good. I'm um, very happy to feel that again. Uh, I think the thing I have a bit the biggest problem with at the moment is the tiredness. And I think now that is the thing why I can shake this. So um, yeah, I will talk to my doctor again and uh, see if I am on the right track and ask him how long he thinks this was this needs to take before it gets better. Although I do think the energy is getting better, but you know, it's never going quick enough. I want it to improve sooner and not later. <laughs> I don't know, I have... Um, this thing that I want things to... I don't have a sense of time. I have ADHD. And I don't have a... This is also a gruesome picture, but I like the colors. I don't know. I would just take a piece of it and stick it on the envelope. Um, I, I have ADHD and no sense of time. So for me... It feels like this depression thing and this thing me taking meds or uh, supplements is already like forever ago, uh, which is not because I'm on supplements now for three weeks. And if you have like a shortage, a proper one, it's not cured within three weeks because you take supplements. But for me, my brain is like, why aren't we better yet? Why aren't we feeling energized again? I will never... You know, turn around. I will never be better again. I will never feel better again. So my brain is already panicking. While in reality there's not a much time passed. And sometimes I find that the most difficult thing about ADHD, having ADHD, the time blindness. It's also with the deadline that I am having now with school. In my brain, it's already... Uh, time to completely freak out because we're not going to make it um, and then I did my homework today and I thought I would spend four hours on that and it turned out to be one hour and I'm like okay so if this took one hour why do I stress out about it so much um, yeah so I find that sometimes very difficult about having you know, ADHD. Um, yeah, so. But I will get there. I will learn someday. No, time blindness will stay. But I, I, I do feel that since I know I have ADHD, I do get better with regulating and recognizing uh my problems or my uh, it's not really a problem my blind spots so i recognize that i panic about time because i don't understand time and then i just remind myself kira that's just because you don't understand time and that really really helps me uh, because that way i can rationalize my feelings a little bit without completely drowning in them because sometimes I feel I drown in my feelings and anxiety and stress and everything so yeah it really really helps to know what you have not because you need to put a label on everything but simply because now I can find some peace <laughs> In okay, Kira, this is difficult for you because you have ADHD, which means for you that you don't have any sense of time. And you see one big hole of a project and not the steps in between. And that is why you stress out. So don't worry, <laughs> you will be fine. Uh, and I think um, we have this new rage, right? Of stop labeling people, yes. Yes, but no. 
because this label, I am not my label, but this label really helps me to understand myself. And also, there is a name for the things I'm feeling, because when I didn't have this label, I really felt crazy, but I'm not crazy. There are more people like me who feel these things. And I don't have to be ashamed of not being able to do things that 80% of this world just can. Uh, and I can't because I have ADHD and my brain is wired differently. So I went on this whole tangent. Welcome to ADHD Live with Kira. And she's not even paying attention if she is on frame. <laughs> I'm just... Guys, I missed you. I'm already now. I'm talking to you. I'm feeling better. <sighs> I should have done this way, way earlier in the week. But life. I really missed you. I'm also so excited about the... Uh, Kofi products. I have sent out everything. Uh, I already heard from some people that it arrived. I am so happy it did. Um, yeah, I'm super, super excited. Thank you so much. I never expected. I mean, I was sold out within hours. I never expected that. It was crazy for me. Absolutely crazy. I, I mean, whoa. So, I don't know, um, do you want me to announce beforehand that something is coming? Because I can imagine that you don't always have the time right, uh, right away to, um, you know, watch my video and know what is up in the store or in the shop. And why I was thinking about that is because um, I am creating a few journals. I was already creating them uh, last year before I quit everything. Um, it was just a project for me, do me. Uh, well, with the intention to sell them. Um, so if you want, and um, I don't know if this is the next thing that I will be putting up, but... Uh, with realizing that my deadline for school is in about four weeks, I also realized that I am also almost free from school to have summer break, which is if I don't have to do re redo anything, which is going to be 10 weeks for me. So that means 10 weeks of crafting, ladies. I mean, it sounds like heaven to me now because I'm so tired. I just want to craft, you know, <laughs> and make videos and just be me in my craft room and just you know do my thing so um i would i, I also had that realization thankfully uh, that it's not just <laughs> time to stress but also oh it's time for freedom um so i was thinking do you want me to make a community post you know um i guess a week up front or whatever, a bit up front on uh, my YouTube page. I don't know if I want to put it on Instagram. I think I just put it on the community tab here on YouTube. Um, maybe in my stories on Instagram. To let you know that I'm going to, going to update the Kofi store and when I am going to update that, just let me know in, uh, in the comments down below. So I can uh, take that into consideration because really I didn't expect this. Uh, this was cr this this absolutely crazy for me. I didn't expect to sell out within hours. Also, um, I don't know if this is a thing, uh, but maybe preferably with uh, paying with PayPal. Um, although Oots tried out paying with Ideal and it went through perfectly. So I don't know, but I have heard that some have trouble with that. So I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, because I am planning on, like I said, putting some journals up whenever I'm ready for that. Which I don't know when. But 
you know, would you like me to share that in uh, a community post up front? I mean, I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm still I'm talking about this and I'm still amazed about how fast everything got sold out. I mean, it's crazy to me. Absolutely bonkers. But thank you. I'm eternally grateful. And um, yeah, so there will be more whenever I want to. So I have decorated this last one. And I'm going to leave this book text because why not? Am I? Am I? Maybe? No. Oh, no, I'm going to add this strip. You know, you see, this is just a relaxing, another way to use your scraps and your masterboard skills, because this is also somewhat of a tiny masterboard, but then on an envelope. Uh, now let's refold. So I'm going to refold my flap first. And take my bone folder. This is still wet, so really... <laughs> Preferably let this dry, but I I do have to let it dry before I sew, but I want to show you how it looks now. So this is what it would look like if you, if I just glued these sides now down and then I have my envelope, but I really would like to do some sewing. I guess I have, I can do that tomorrow. So everything is dry, but I can do the inking in a little bit. But like I said, I'm not going to do that on camera. I will show you the end result. Uh, I am filming for 40 minutes now. So what I think that I'm going to do is... Um, I'm also pretty much done chatting. So what I'm going to do is I am uh, going to finish these off. And uh, sew around them. So... If you're not going to sew, I'm going to show you one more time. We did all the folding together. We did the collaging together. Then, next step, what you're going to do is... What I'm going to do is take my ground espresso. And I'm going to ink everywhere. I'm also going to refold this back and ink this inside. Because I like that. Uh, but if you don't like inking, please, by all means, don't do inking. Then the only thing that is left for you to do is to open this up. And to put glue underneath this score line here on the sides. If you put your glue here, you put it back up, you push it down and then your envelope is ready. I am going to, however, ink everything up and sew all around it. So if I'm done, I will share with you the end results. I am back with the end result. We are actually a day later because I was smart and I let everything dry before I so 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 use my sewing machine. Um, yeah, so this is the end result. I will show them to you. So this one um, I used a zigzag stitch. I didn't really like this, so I don't know. I, the rest of them I did with uh, a, just a regular stitch um, you can decorate them even more but i don't know how i want to use them in my journal because i thought of you know putting them on a page and then it's like this so i want to decorate it like this maybe some i'm going to turn into a pocket so i don't have to decorate the back so this is just prepared for when i want to put it in a journal then i have this one with the morris and bloom paper which i also really like so this is the envelope with some messy stitching. Then I have this one, uh, which is also looking very good. I love it. I, I really, really love it. And they are now very, very sturdy, so you can use whatever book page you want. This is the biggest one. Also really love this one. I don't think we made this one together, but I can't remember anymore. So this is the other... So you can put stuff in here. And then this is the super, super tiny one that we are actually going to add into my lab book. Um, from a Jane Austen pocket 
page and I think I want to add it on a page as is like a pocket and then so you can put something behind it and inside but I'm not quite sure yet uh, so we will see in another video also all of them are different sizes as you can see because I used different sized book pages and I think that is the beauty the only thing you have to do is the three or is the two folds and then you can make all different sizes just from one book page so I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching and until next time bye